bring our meeting to order tonight. It's um, Rockwood Water PUD Utility District Board of Directors, October 24th, 2018, 6 o'clock. And to start off, approval of the agenda. Is there any changes or corrections? No changes, no. President Lewis. Okay. And can I have a motion for approval of the agenda, please? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Okay. A second. Thank you, Kobe. All in favor say aye. 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 And approval of the consent agenda. Any last minute changes? Uh, no changes, President Lewis. Okay, thank you. And yourself. And um, I'll need a motion to approve the consent agenda, please. A motion. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. And all in favor say aye. 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 And number three, approval of the minutes September 26, 2018. And does the board or staff have any corrections or additions to the meeting minutes? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve the meeting minutes of September 26. I'll make a motion. Okay, Kobe, thank you. And a second. second. Steve. And all in favor say aye. 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 Moves us to approval of the bills. And no questions, Steve. No okay. Kathy, do you have any? Or I can come back to you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Kobe? Nope. Larry? Yeah, I have about three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, page six, bottom of the page, RW33, truck mirror. Obviously, it got broke. We replaced it or cracked or something like that. Uh, yeah. Um, i trying to think of RW33. Is that a scooter? Sure. Oh, the service truck. That's right. It got clipped. Um, I think they, they were backing up and, and hooked it the outside of the mirror on something and, and broke it. So um, it wasn't to replace it. They have to replace the whole assembly and not just the, the lens on it. Got a built-in mirror into the truck. No. Yeah, it, it's got this arm that's meant to break away on it and it broke actually a piece on the breakaway arm so that was not useful anymore so you have to replace the whole assembly and then i had the same thing on page 13 is it also a truck mirror on rw28 um, that's a dump truck, and I don't recall exactly what happened to that one. Okay. I can find I can find out for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And page twelve, it looks like we bought the the uh, touch read register. Um, touch read register. Where's it at? Oh, corn main. Yeah, those are uh, uh, remote read or touch read registers for um, meter replacements that we're doing um, on a lot of the fire lines, so that we can uh, we don't have to access the vault to, to get the read. We won't have to enter it or you know open the vault lid. So they should be able to, to go up and hit it with the touch read uh, and get the read. So if you're close enough to the to the vault, you can. It's, you don't have to open it up to, to get the read out of it. Correct. Um, actually, you, you do have to go up to it, um, but you don't have to enter into it. So it's just a pad that you kind of swipe this wand over, and it gathers the data and stores it so that they can uh, upload it into the, the accounting. Because when I looked at it, my brain went to the cash register. Oh. oh. Touch read register, and I'm going, why? <laughs> <laughs> But that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Kobe, did you have anything? No. Okay. Cut. I had a, a couple of questions. One was on page six, the Pacific Facilitation Center has questions to refund the overpayment. Mm -hmm. Is this? Are these like new construction type things, or is this? Um, so, 
So that one, um, specifically that one, is a, a newer development, and uh, there was two apartment complexes built um, opposing each other on the street. <coughs> there were six meters in total, and uh, one of the meters uh, somehow uh, got loaded into the account um, twice, and so the same customer that owns both apartment complexes was just paying the bill and ended up paying duplicating double. Mm -hmm. double. So we figured that out and refunded them the several months or several billing cycles worth of uh, payments that they made. So we usually figured out or they figured out? We figured this one out. They didn't. Um, so okay. it could have went on for quite a while. but. Okay. And then the same thing on page five, the John Deere port one has a really high um, it's kind of uh, a little more in-depth explanation. Um, they have a, a fire meter down there, um, and it's pretty old. That building was uh, that that building was put in a long time ago. So the fire meter uh, we installed um, had been we had been reading it. Um, over the course of time, their backflow device failed, and they had to re replace their backflow device, which, um, bringing it up to our standard, requires a, uh, a spy meter, basically, on it. Um, so as we've been kind of identifying the zones and, and looking, verifying meter numbers and stuff, um, this came about that the meter, the spy meter, on the new backflow assembly was red. And it had a substantial amount of usage on it, which kind of raises a red flag on a fire line, which you should only see maybe one or two units on a year for testing purposes. Um, so we went back and kind of dug through, uh, and, and at this time they had already been billed for it. So what you see, the, re the refund was what their bill was, and they weren't very happy about it because that wasn't something that they were anticipating for their budget for the year. And, and okay. they were very concerned about where the water was going because they didn't have a leak. And all of a sudden, they've got this huge usage on their fire line. So we dug through our records and found out that um, that backflow device that we read the meter on had never been read before from our, our, from our side because um, it wasn't our fire meter, which we had been reading, oh, okay. which then in turn pointed to our fire meter not registering at all. It hadn't been for a long time. Um, and from that, we realized that maybe we should be kind of just spot checking those and making sure that we get a unit or two usage on them a year. Obviously, if they have a high usage, we'd be red flagged. But this is one of those assemblies where we have a large fire meter installed that has been there for a long time and it's not really testable. Um, or it doesn't really flag us to make sure that it is working because typically it wouldn't have usage on it. Um, so after we realized that there was a whole bunch of water that went through there, we went back and looked through the records, and we couldn't determine when it happened because that thing had been in there mm -hmm. for over 15 years. Um, and there was usage on it um, back in 2008. Um, so, to really justify billing them $3,600 for water that we don't know what rate they mm -hmm. should have paid it at was really yeah, hard right, to, right. And, and likely they had a leak at some point in time when the building wasn't occupied and, you know, they had a bunch of usage. It was never detected on our meter and then, you know, they had it repaired. But the building sat vacant for quite a while after they kind of mothballed it. So um, we just decided to refund the money and start reading the meter that actually from registered. Zero. And from zero. From zero. Yeah. So is that like an accumulated amount over time mm -hmm. that they've been charged? With? I mean, mm -hmm. well, no, it was it was just one lump sum. Oh, we yeah. we oh. basically billed them for that, and they paid it, okay. screaming and kicking the whole way, <laughs> and then you know asking for justification of it because they weren't okay. aware of okay. when or where that happened, um, or even if they were the occupant when it happened. Mm -hmm. 
So do we have any more of those like old fire meters so, out there? So from, from these couple incidents, we've really um, made it a point uh, to have the meter readers go through each zone and check meter numbers, reads, and, and everything with these large meters and vaults just to verify um, because sometimes it's just assumed and they're going through the book and they're looking at the location and maybe they've been reading the wrong one institutionally the whole time. Um, so uh, we've been systematically going through each zone as they're reading it and making sure that they're verifying everything, um, at least to, to get from this, to get to a starting point to where we know uh, we're reading the right meters and they've got the right reads. So we're trying to read mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Very good. Um, so I will need a motion to uh, approve the bill. Okay. And a second, please. Oh, second. Okay. Kathy and Larry. Thank you. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Public comment on non agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move to uh, have a motion to s suspend the regular board meeting to convene work session. Can I get a motion to suspend regular board meeting, please? I'll make a motion. Okay. And a second. Second. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 